Ladies and gentlemen, you are watching yet another episode of Eric Lemish Shenanigans of 1977. It's now time for the end of the month report from our host with Shenanigans Statements of the Statesman. And now here is the Statesman of Shenanigans himself, Eric M. Lima. Thank you very much, Mr. Announcer, sir. Well, hello there, everyone. Welcome to yet another episode. A very shenanigans, 1977, episode 1783. This is the 13th edition of Shenanigans, Statesmen of the Statesman. It's considering October 2024. Now, as you know, October is now come and gone. I gotta tell you, it's been a rough October for me. Start off the first half of the week with no voice. And, you know, you know, because when the weather keeps changing, I'll tell you one thing about New England weather, man. They don't make up their stinking minds in our New England weather. One day it's like hot in the 70s, and then another day it's like cold in the 30s. It's like, dudes, you know. I mean, I wonder why it's like cold and flu season here, you know. <clears throat> and it's unbelievable that um, it's, you know, it's totally, totally, uh, you know, crazy to say the least. Um, also, I yeah. Also, I start. Um, also, um, in the beginning, in the beginning of the week, we said goodbye to our. Uh, now former co-worker who um, passed away, like I said, back in September. Um, and and the, um, he ended up passing away at a very young age. And uh, he was, you know, like I said, he died of a heart attack um, like towards the end of September, on a Friday, the final Friday of September. <clears throat> and um, we, uh, we uh, ended up going to his funeral. Um, Wednesday, I got out when I got out of work, and I saw no. Uh, you know, <clears throat> uh, when I when I saw no parking space, I had to park like a block over from the church just to um, enter in, and then we went up to the cemetery across the street from Shaw's. And that Shaw's Plaza, and said goodbye to him, and it wasn't easy, you know, um, <clears throat> to say the least. Um, and then we had the uh, the Patriots get, get, uh, continue on a losing streak until this past Sunday they finally won a game. Praise the Lord! And then we had baseball playoffs in October. The Yankees and the Dodgers made it all the way to the finals of the World Series. And the Dodgers won. Hallelujah. Thank you. You know, I think mean, Yankee fans are still trashing Red Sox fans. Guys, let me tell you something. You got your 27 rings. You got more world championships than anybody else. Why do you have to trash us? And I'll tell you why. Because we end up trashing you. Listen, we're not supposed to like your team. That's the thing. The object is we're not supposed to like your team. All right? We're New Englanders. We're supposed to hate the Yankees. That's the way it is. And then you have two dumb friends of yours, you know, decide to attack Mookie Betts. Oh, let's pl Let's grab him. Grab him by the wrist. Let's, pl let's pl the pry the ball out of his glove. And when the umpires were smart enough, yeah. You know, come on. What about that guy who took a swipe at Sheffield? Well, he was dealt with. Okay? He was dealt with. Now it was then. This is now. All right? But still, but the Dodgers winning the World Series, I'm very happy, happy for uh, Mookie, who is now the only position player to win three World Series with, three World Series, two with the Dodgers, one with the Sox. And then you got Shohei Otani, his first World Series ring. I mean, guy went 50-50 that same season, didn't do much in the World Series, but, because he got hurt and stuff, but, you know, you know what, people complain, oh, this guy, he didn't do much. Well... Your teammates supposed to pick you up, and that's that's the, that's the fact. And I think a lot of people um, realizing that the Yankees did not uh, capitalize on their fundamentals. That was a huge deal. Uh, somebody found, somebody uh, pointed this out, and I was like, "Oh, cool!" You know, is that you have the talent, but you had to use the f simple fundamentals. That's and the Dodgers used their fundamentals to win the World Series, and that's the main thing. I mean, the Yankees were lucky they didn't get swept. If they got swept, that would be embarrassing to the point where Aaron Boone, he may be on, uh, on his way out of a job. But we don't know if Cashman's going to be gone too. 
I know it's a Steinbrenner family. Uh, probably Hal Steinbrenner probably is only the team now. Probably would not take this. If his father, father George was still alive, he wouldn't put up with it either. Aaron Boone and Brian Cashman would have been out, out looking for another job. But, might I digress? You know, everything's been going on. <clears throat> you know what? Yeah, a lot of leaves falling. And um, I got some good news, though. I got some very good news. Now, as you noticed, um, I've been um, practicing a lot. Uh, I've been trying to uh, figure out how to bring the Shenanigan Arcade back. I have brought, I have bought myself an extra screen over here to my right. And <clears throat> what I'm excited about is, is that, um, you know, what, what, am I, what am I excited about is the fact that um, I'm going to bring Shenanigan Arcade back. Don't know when, all right? Maybe this Thanksgiving. Right? In fact, we're three weeks away from the physical copy release of Marvel vs. Capcom Fighting Collection. I did pre-order it back in June. And <clears throat> pre-order for it back in June on Best Buy. I'm hoping it's going to ship out soon. It'll be coming in three weeks. I'm excited about it. Maybe that's probably when I'm going to bring back Shenanigan Arcade. Possibly at Thanksgiving time. As you know, Thanksgiving, I have off. It's going to be my house this year, so I'll have plenty of time for that. Um, <clears throat> and so I got it all figured out. Uh, my other webcam still works, by the way. And I'm going to use that as part of the Shenanigan Arcade. So uh, you can see my face and you can see me play the game. And have a little reaction to it. So, because usually when I do my Shenanigan Arcade, you don't see my face. But I've gotten that figured out. And I probably have a new stand full of that webcam. I'm totally excited. So, so there's that. Um, let's see. Um, they finally got a release date for the Power Rangers. Um, uh, we just rewind side scrolling beat 'em up game December 10th. I'll probably. Hopefully, when they give me the opportunity to pre-order for that, I'm going to do so. Totally excited about that. Um, also, um, uh, like I said, last night we did Rant and Rave. And I was dressed as IRS. People think I was a kind of Baptist Mormon preacher. Yeah, the angry, the angry Mormon preacher. <laughs> yeah. Anyways. But, you know, I figured you wear a tie. Why not? You know, that's... First time I think I wore a tie you know, on a Rant and Ray podcast. So that's pretty cool. And I was dressed as Shawn Michaels during my uh, game show gauntlet. Um, bonus game gauntlet of horror uh, for my special. I tried. I did the worst Shawn Michaels impression ever. You know, but when I, you know, we did our uh, crown jewel picks and predictions last night. I'll probably do them again. Um... <clears throat> I'll probably do them again and... Ah, uh, excuse me. Go gassy today. <laughs> Anyways, um... So... So th so so there's that. Um, yeah, a lot of stuff's been happening. And, uh... Finally, if you uh, saw my episode... Uh, episode, a couple of episodes ago... Uh, another uh, shenanigans statement to the statesman. A little shenanigans tribute... To the matriarch of our church. Um, as you know... Um, I don't know most of you folks don't know I am a born again Christian, but I don't shove the Bible down anyone's throats while I'm on here and all that. I try to entertain and bring you some positive fun, clean fun, so that you guys can enjoy it. And I'm, and that's why I want to do. It's more like setting the example instead of just talk about it. You know, John Cena once said, "Just t people talk about it, just people who be about it." I want to be more than be about it than talk about it. You know, so in order to do that, I have to be setting an example. Like, okay, I'm going to do some good, clean fun. Not doing anything, you know, against YouTube standards or anything like that. That's why I decided to do. That's why I bring the entertainment to you guys, as always, and show you some love. Um, I used to, um, I attended a church called the Church of the New Testament in East Freetown, and uh, um, the Reverend Beverly Resendiz and her husband Antonio Resendiz founded the church. They became the pastors of our church, and me and my dad attended there since the very beginning. Me and my father attended there since the very beginning, and. Um, just recently, a couple of days ago, um, at 10 o'clock, uh, Reverend Beverly Resendiz um, ended up passing away. 
and after a year-long battle with cancer, <clears throat> and and so I did a, vi a video memoir to, to, to watch her. If you want to check that out, you can. My mother loved it, and it's and it's really really cool when my mom decided to share my video to everyone else out there. I want that to happen because I'm I've always believed that you know, <clears throat> like I explained to her that. Writing it down, text doesn't do it any justice. Hence why I did the video. So if you want to check that video, uh, check that out if you can. Um, I really do appreciate it because it is, you know, I've always, um, when it comes to somebody that I know, it's always great to, always, I'm always thankful to get to know them and, you know, speak good things about them. And I've always done that. So, <clears throat> so that is it. That's all the um, the time of the show. Shenanigan Statements of the Statesman, Episode 13. Episode 1783 of Eric Lemmy's Shenanigans 1977. Up next, let's spin the information. First bullseye, bon first fearless Friday of November 2024. Some bullseye for you. Until the next episode comes rolling around, Mr. Announcer, take us home. That is all for today's episode. This is your announcer speaking for Eric Lemmy's Shenanigans of 1977. A Big Beefy E, Dwarf of Bob Saget Productions, and in association with A Raven Bofa Telepictures and Distribution. Thank you for watching today's episode. Tune in next time for another episode of Earthly Machine Anigans of 1977. Goodbye for now.